Those are Greth and welcome to another one of my vid reps. This time we have on Eclipse, you know, that fancy map uh, the, with the two halves and stuff. It's really... Wow. Um, now, please hold. I can explain. We have, I'm sorry, a Protoss versus Protoss. There's purple Protoss. That means he wins. That's an inside joke on the channel. Welcome. And a brown Protoss. Now, I myself don't mind Protoss versus Protoss not as much anymore. Now that I realize that each time you can see a Protoss die. And many, many Protoss units do find their rest in the dirt. But... Of course, Protoss also needs to win, but that's why we're here. To find and identify this winner and breaking down into the ground as far as we can. So there we are. Pylon. Also Pylon. I think, I don't know, is this one of those tactical placements? I only do this with spawning pools and then I forget which side I have to place it on and then I fail. And then my drones always go around the extractor. But I'm sure that that's going to be different here. Scout into the main base. Oh, it's a manor pylon. And it did nothing. It did block. No, it didn't even block this, I think. And no, actually, yeah. It has to go around. So, well done. On the other end, not a thing. Okay. But an idle pro. So, the Legend of Purple Protoss started... All the way back to my very first vidrep that is not on this channel, but on a different one. The one I posted on BattleReports.com. And he actually didn't cancel that, that's amazing. Um, so are we going to... yeah, we are going to see the gateway... Inside... Purple Protoss has a penchant of winning. And statistically, very true. Um, that's a gateway inside the main base. Okay, good. So, I remember, what was, and there's more, there's more, there's two gates. I was about to say, buildings inside the Protoss base are usually a bad sign. It's usually in the opponent's base or on the middle of the map. So, what, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. So, this is a purple one. This is also a purple one. That is actually going to be taken down by probes. And there's already a zealot here. That's the first gateway down. Maybe kill that probe. The probes are evil and must be dealt with. There's two probes. There are two pylons here as well. That is two gateways to one. Okay, so normally... You would say, oh well, that's that then. But again, I can see you're new here. Good. So, there's pylons going on. This, this, I don't think... The zealot might come out. There's not a lot of... There's more probes on it now. There's another zealot there. It's... No, it's not going to make it. Cancel it. Cancel it, perhaps? No, he's not going to cancel it. So he's going to lose those monies as well. Because not, unlike in StarCraft 2, you don't get refunded. But there are... There's some disruption here, I'm sure. Um, Pylon... Um, Probe-wise, things are actually looking up for dear Soya. Yeah, Seraph and Soya are the people playing, but... You've already stopped caring about that. So more zealots here. So now, the question is, has the disruption outweighed the price of those gateways, those manor pylons, and everything else? At this point, you can also see that these players aren't incredible. Oh, God, come on! Why is that probe still alive, though? Um, and only one... Well, there's people... People are working on it. Uh, all right. All right. One down, one pointless one to go. In the meantime, he actually, he, has, he hasn't mined gas yet. He has access to gas. Now I'm going to do that. Maybe, oh, this is going to be interesting. So that assimilator, okay. So kind of forcing the hand here now. Seraph is sort of somewhat forced. He is very much focused on getting all these pylons out, which I don't know if it's the best choice because he definitely had the army advantage for a little bit, but he's actually going to die, try and break down the assimilator first. So really, three, two, five, more on the way. 
what is going to happen here. Soya has a little bit of a gas advantage. He has the cyber goal going on. So is he going to go for DTs, for instance, to prolong his misery? Um, that could very well be a thing. There's going to be a little window, regardless of what uh, Syrov does, except if he puts down um, a forge and cannons. But... Yeah, so now... They go marching out. There is no... There, yeah, it's going to be straight to a Citadel ever do, and it's probably going to be DTs. And yeah, five, two more, but there's ramp and there's home advantage. More zealots are going to be popped out. We still have this going. We have a forge, actually, so that's probably going to give some home advantage here. He's actually going to move out? No, he's not, is he? He probably won't, surely. Here's the Adun. Here's a pylon up top, maybe to hide some tech, but he's very busy now. He's very busy controlling these units, and there we go, two for two. This is, yeah, just... Thanks for playing. Who would have known? So there's the Ar Templar Archives. Oh, okay. You're going to try this, are you? Very well. Plus one attack is a good thing to have. And also cannon. All right. In terms of probes, still, sir, you know. Yeah, thank you. Please do. And some goons. And not some range yet. More pylons. As both players are dangerously close to supply blocking. It's nice, you know, feeling superior to players while I'm casting them, even though they're way beyond my league. I, I've missed that. I've played a lot of CPL matches and I've lost every single one because of stupid, idiotic mistakes. Not from lack of knowledge, but lack of actually playing. Um, and I still have one to go. Okay, so they're doing here as well. So maybe... Only for the speed. Now, this is going to be interesting. So, here's going to be an attack. This is going to be pointless. Hello, and goodbye, little probe. There's a cannon here. It might be a very bad idea to engage here for dear old Soya. And he's going to acknowledge this, I think. 300, yeah, he really wants that expansion. Um, so, here's the Templar Archives. And oh my god! It's DTs! How could I have known? I am clairvoyant in all things StarCraft. Yeah, so he's doing the thing. The thing. He's doing the thing. So this is funny, because right now there is a forge here, but Soya is actually in a very bad position, worrying not to cannon up a little bit. Um, momentarily. Only two gates still as well. But there we go, we both have a stabilization after that shit show. Yeah, that's kind of, you know... Oh, a storm. Hello. That's a storm. That is storm. So, what? We're just gonna bin the whole DT idea because you figured out that cannons are a thing in a PvP? I mean... Definitely going to be a problem once somebody decides to move out. That's kind of your only bet. That trying to catch somebody... It's, it takes so many hits to kill a zealot, though. There's only zealots here. Plus one attack is about finished. R speed is going to be there. I don't know if speed was a thing here earlier. Uh, a lot of things happening. No upgrades yet. Some cannons. Okay, yeah. Camping out that third is a thing. Okay, so now both players... I don't think they both know. I mean, Seraph is falling behind a little bit in probes again. Uh, that's hopefully going to change now that he has got the two uh, the nexus up. But Soya yeah, also going to be pumping out. I'm so envious. As a Zerg player, I am envious of this little thing. For Zerg, it's usually... Because I, I literally lost my last game because I forgot to drone up. And um, I'm still a little mad. I had a third up. I was pushing. I was playing really well winning all my micro battles and then I like why am I losing why am I bleeding economy here why can't I keep up and then I zoom to my third and realize I had four drones mining because you know I had to keep up the pressure and I don't have the luxury of just clicking a button a couple of times and now oh, look this workers <laughs> uh, it's fine okay robo bay is a thing you need to do there's more gateways on this end however and no robo bay yet maybe yeah so there's no DTs here. There is the Templar. 
and uh, but that's that storm is going. I don't know. I think Soya m must be the one to attack here. There is a useless Templar, but he doesn't know that, and a lot of zealots. Plus one attack upgraded, but doesn't really matter that much with the stupendous amount of eight hit points that they all have, and he has the storm. So only the one Templar, however. Some more coming along, yes, yes, but okay. So I feel this is the this is the window, right? Storm once, pull them out, damage them. Um, now, yeah, storm, the, the window's still up. Seraph is royally behind in supply, but that's not going to be the case for long, as um, his gateways are going to be kicking in in a minute. Uh, plus two attack. He's got his storm now. Uh, he's also got a couple of more Templar. They're, yeah, Soya's still very much ahead. The Seraph has already closed the probe difference, however, and soon the macro difference as well. So just by sitting here and letting your opponent do shit, I don't like that at all. Oh. I mean, some, yeah, there you go. There's a shuttle. It's probably going to be a storm drop. Well, I can't see inside the shuttle right now, but he's going to pick up the DT probably and then die to the photon cannon. Uh, yeah, the DTs are coming along. Two DTs. Well, might as well get something out of them. Um, meanwhile, there's a couple of scouts going out. But yeah, that was like a dead moment. That was a very long dead moment. Um, I'm very, very well aware of them in my own play. Where you're just... But Sirov is doing a bit the better job here. I don't think these DTs are going to do much. The cannon's here. Hello, I am cannon. And, um, oh, he doesn't have any fucking detection outside. So if he doesn't suicide them into this cannon, he might actually do some damage. Because, well, be, 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 there is no observatory, lol. So that's going to go down. This doesn't really unpower anything yet, but be careful of cannon. Oh, that's a good storm. That's going to do some damage. I mean, he definitely knows where they are. And this is where you should be at his front door, my friend, because look. <laughs> There's nothing there. This is going to empower this, surely. Yes. That doesn't really matter because he's not producing anything. He's letting everything... Everything is going up in the in the bank here. He's completely deranged. Of course, this is taking somewhat of... Oh, getting sniped. Sniping. Um, be on the move with your... Literally win game. Win game right here. If you just use your... He's overreacting to this... You're not really doing that much. He killed a couple of fucking pylons. And everyone's fucking in the main base. Now the observer's there. Now the geek is up. Now he's going down the fucking ramp. And perhaps... 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 No. No. We will not, sir. Maybe even... Take... I mean, he's got the supply advantage. He macroed up while... That was going, oh, Jesus, this is fucking scary. This is giving me PTSD. This is Zerg PTSD coming into my brain right now. Like, oh, look, uh, we have unkillable units that you have to throw to under the supply at just to prove that you're ahead. Not that you're not ahead yet. No, 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 no. You have to prove it by slamming your face into it and then re macroing everything. All right, so that's a storm drop. A little bit of initiative. There's still a lot of fucking zealots here. Plus two attack. Two plus one attack. Again, not that significant. There's a cannon that's not in position. The, all of these probes are going to die. Syrup is actually ahead in probe count. Hold that thought, though. Hey, he moved outside of his base. Okay, so a little bit of happenings here. There you go. Hi, we are Templar. 14 kills and 6 kills. Oh, hi -oh. So now there's a bit of a probe deficit. <sighs> Perhaps remedy that somehow, because these gates aren't going to prove much. Okay, so now I think Seraph is sort of forced into battle. And this is going to be mined out momentarily, so perhaps uh, an attempt at an expansion. There's also an attempt at an expansion here, which I must say is very late for both of them, because they really had all the opportunity to do so. But um, that's all right. Hey, wake up. There's a game going. 
It's exciting. It's Brodos versus Brodos. It is mind games upon mind games upon. There's things happening. A storm drop happened. There we go. See, see, see. Would have missed it. There we go. Now he's going to ram his face into this with a 40 by 30. 20 supply difference. And it's going to fail horribly. It's all going to come down to. Storms. There's, is there really only one Templar and the ones that are in this? There's only one Templar. This might prove to be rather hilarious. So, the goons are gonna engage first. Here come the storms! That's the one storm. That is one storm. He has one more. Dear God, the spread. That's a good one in the back line there. There's some very, very many storms happening. But there's a lot of zealots that die as well. Never mind. Whoopsie daisies. Okay. Yeah, that that's fucked. Who knew? The engagement started out well, but then the zealots of Soya just pushed in the middle there. And managed to cut off the uh, any sort of targets for the for the zealots. Cuz they were up at the top. So now I'm going to push this. Uh, I wonder, Archons aren't going to be that amazing, but they are plus three attack upgrades, so if they can... Oh, that's actually a very good storm. A lot of damaged goons here as well. Gonna push forward. Right, so here's the thing. Operational base, operational base. Sira have actually caught up on probes yet again. So, huh. Yeah, that's always a good sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and don't use these. That's a, that's a, oh, there's so many fucking gateway, that's a, yeah, yeah, kill that, please. So, who's going to macro up the fastest here? There's still a deficit for Sirev, but are these, these are damaged goons. That's important, because this guy, they're going to go quickly. So they're taking up supply. That's the one, I hear a thing. Oh, is that, yeah, hello, well. <laughs> a little bit of remodeling. Yeah, there's an attempt at a fourth. Because who won that fight? I'm thinking... Because, again, Soya has got more. And now he has an equal amount of High Templar. So, with the unit mixture as it is... Plus two attack. I don't know if three is coming along. Yeah, not yet. Maybe. Oh, another attack here. Not much happened there. Oh, that's a, that's an Archon? Oh yeah, yeah, you forgot you had that. Understandable. That didn't prove much. Seraf did lose some. Okay, so he's moving out now. Army's out of position. This is not going to be handy. If he... Oof. Okay, so... Wedge formation, everyone. Goons are gonna... Mostly goons. So is he going to, he can't engage this piecemeal or he, he needs to go all of it. Because th this is completely spread out. This is awful for Soya. If it, yeah, no, 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 the engagement needs to happen. But that's a lot of storm on a lot of zealots. That was a bad engagement. He had a moment there where he could have pushed. Again, an amazing storm on these zealots. They are all low. Lost all of their shields, and the goons are just having a good time. Now the storms are gonna come in. And now, sadly, Sawyer's... Yeah, he's just got too much. That engagement could have gone differently. I don't know if he can finish this. Seraph's got no bank anymore. He's got very big problems. He's pumped everything into everything. But, yeah, he pulled back when there were just the goons here and did not have the support of those Templar yet, and he pulled back and gave... yeah. I mean, he zealots were going to be stormed anyway, so it might as well have been when they were engaging with the goons. But yeah, I think that's it. So... Yeah, some of these aren't rallied yet, so they're just standing there. 
And that third is now gone, so that income is now done. Plenty of shit still here. And this is now defended. So, yeah. There's no way back from this. You can clean this up, but... That's, uh... Not gonna matter, considering a fourth is now going up. He's lost the base. He's actually, well, yeah, both of them are no longer mining from this. So his uh, natural is about to go down. This nexus is destroyed. So he needs to really hope for the best encounter here. But he's gonna run into quite a good unit mix for this, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's another good storm, though. Nearly, nearly remaxed. 50, 50 supply difference. He needs to remake this, but he's yeah, he's pumping it all in there. The window's closed. So, yeah, just a little bit of a macro difference. Um, and I mean, oh, look at that, all of that fucking storm. Nice to see it not be on hydras for a change. And that is where the replay ends. Zero have GG'd. Well, didn't GG. But, well, it's Protoss players. They don't have any manners. So, yeah. There you go. Strange game. Protoss shenanigans. But really... It's an interesting level of play. It's a 1600 game, I believe. A lot of APM. You can kind of see the real APM now at the end there. Um, this is mid-level, and you can see the flaws. The macro is there, but the little the little things, like we had a dead moment of like five minutes or something where everything should have been happening. And just pulling ahead a little bit uh, in terms of probes, Seraph catching up, but that little deficit of 30 units, of 30 supply worth of units. Because really, Soya's control wasn't as good, I think. He had, there were multiple opportunities to engage and to finish it. However, I will say one thing. Now that I'm actively playing the game again, I know, shocking. I know that flaw. Because it is very difficult to see this as a player. The, the observers were on the map, but, and again, Protoss has it so fucking easy with observers. Yes, we will hold fast to the Protoss hatred, don't worry. But you have to recognize this. He, and in this engagement here, he pulled back, got stormed, then had to engage anyway with damage, and then more storms arrived, you know? Uh, Soya had only the one Templar at that point at that field. Um, you could say a lot about unit mixture and maybe tech and maybe Reavers should have been involved at one point. Um, but, I mean, if, if Soya would have made two Reavers, that would have been it. <laughs> that would have been because it was mostly Zealots. That's why you want to transition into Dragoons more because Reavers just sh take him out. However, Storm also does a good job. So, yeah. This was interesting, and of course, yeah, that storm drop kind of ended the game, um, because again, that deficit was never never restored. Well, it was briefly, and then this got taken out, but then that's the thing. It's all about, pre VP is mostly about the macro balance, um, more so than, because the battles are really come down to some positioning, but a lot to a composition and size and of course ability to remake anyway that's a pvp don't worry i'm looking for very bad games um but i wanted to do some mid levels as well just to see what i'm capable of <laughs> as a caster so yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next one